Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is about many devices using the same cryptographic keys. Last week and over the past year, you've heard me talk about things like Superfish, where device manufacturers like Dell and Lenovo ship their devices with the same hard-coded cryptographic key or certificate. And of course, once researchers extracted this private certificate, it means that they can actually man in the middle all of these devices. Well, the story gets even worse. This week, a security organization called Set Consult released some research where they found over 4,000 devices from many different vendors that all used the same hard-coded digital certificates and keys, likely because they shared similar firmware or maybe similar chipsets. These devices ranged from routers to modems to voice over IP devices to web cameras, and they came from many different manufacturers, including Huawei, Cisco, Ubiquiti, and many, many other vendors besides that. And again, the problem is, once you have that private certificate, you can actually man in the middle any of these devices as long as you can get in the path of its traffic. And by the way, they also did some internet scans to see how widespread this problem is. And they found that 9% of the HTTPS sites out there used one of these duplicate certificates, as well as I think they said about 6% of the SSH servers out there. So this is a pretty huge problem. That's a lot of devices that use the same cryptographic certificates and keys. So what can we do about this? Well, there's not a ton users can do. Really, this is a vendor problem. These vendors need to be using unique certificates on every single device they ship. They should not be using the same hard-coded certificate. And it's frankly quite scary considering how many manufacturers are doing this. Now, there is sometimes something you can do. Some of these devices might allow the user to actually change the SSH private keys or other things like that. So if you do have one of the affected devices, you might want to see if you can generate your own uh, private keys for your device. In any case, I'll post links to this story, and there's also going to be a cert release associated with this where you can find all the details about the affected manufacturers. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.